when you're in my business, which is the fishing business, and it is a business because I make money at it, you got to treat it like a job. And so you have to put these thought processes together, you know, and think, well, how am I going to get this done? When you're in the business of catching fish, my first worry is to not get skunked. I have options of six or seven reservoirs within a hundred mile drive of me. And I know all these reservoirs and what they produce. Probably the worst place you can fish in the country right now is Fort Loudon Reservoir. Fort Loudon, I don't even think about it no more. Right down the road from my house, it's, it's a shame, but that's the way it is. So now we get farther away. I've got these side lakes, which are not considered catfish lakes. Melton Hill Reservoir, Teleco Reservoir. Not known for numbers of fish. And because of that, they don't get the fishing pressure. Now, if I had time, I would like to put the time in on these less pressured lakes with less fish because my quality of size is better. As far as me getting a guaranteed fish, I'm gonna have to go with Watts Bar Reservoir. I'm gonna stop and get an old Bojangles biscuit. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Gonna try to catch some fish. Six, 12. We'll do her out of 20. Thank you. Just had a catfish boat pass me. Here in East Tennessee, there's more cat fishermen than there is catfish. That's why they're all headed down to where I am trying to get that guaranteed fish. They know there ain't nothing left in Fort Loudon. All right, people, we are entering the town of Rockwood, Tennessee. Now, how do you come up with a name like Rockwood? Rock is rock and wood is wood. They are not the same. So how do you come up with a name like Rockwood? And I've thought this about many towns and how they come up with the names and some of the names of these streets and such. But if you do your history and if you look back Drugs was legal in this country for years. Back in the year 1905, you could order a heroin and syringe kit from Sears in Robux. Right off the catalog, come right to your front door, heroin. The mailman wouldn't even try to steal it from you because the stuff wasn't hard to get. Anybody could get it. Opium products were widely available and legal, you know. I think for five bucks you could get you a syringe and heroin kit, you know. And these people were on all this stuff when they were naming these towns. Now the drugs are still around, and I can tell you, this area of Tennessee River has got the sketchiest boat ramps i ever seen. It looks like you're out in the woods, but I want to be honest with you, I feel safer in downtown Knoxville at night than what I do out here. It is what it is, I'm here for a guaranteed fish. A lot of boats out here today. Always a bass tournament going on. You've arrived. I've arrived. I can see the water. I guess that means I have. It's a big ramp, but this dude's got the whole place blocked up. All right, people, we here at Tom Fuller Park. I'm gonna head out to this creek. Uh, gonna be a strong wind today blowing this direction. So uh, if we don't get nothing anchored, I'm going to drift my way back into this creek using the wind to push me. I hope you can hear me now in the dag blasted wind. It's always windy when I fish. I'm going to work tomorrow, so it's going to be nice and calm, probably warm. If you want to know the best weather to fish in East Tennessee, just fish here when I'm at work and the weather will be fine. We're in a bottle point right here, and uh, this is gonna be bad with the boats coming in and out of this thing. I like the bottle point, it deepens out right here. That means anything coming and going is gonna have to come across my bait. Guys are just gonna have to go around me. I'm right smack dab in the middle of this thing. Oh well.
looks like a prime spot to me. There's the dag blasted dog for this week's video. Hey, shut up over there! Dag blasted dog. You better get on out of here. Go on. Some kind of strange alienated bird, man, just comes up from under the water out of nowhere. Like some kind of sea creature, man. There he goes. He don't need to be creeping around my baits. I marked a lot of big schools of shad in this thing here, about 28, 30 foot deep. So we know the baits here. It's a bottle point. Anything coming or going, going to have to come right in front of my baits. They better get to biting soon. The title of this video is Guaranteed Catfish. We are officially close to the hour of suck, in which I typically have the less luck. As the day starts to progress, the fishing should get better. It was probably best right about sun up, but I'm not getting out of bed that early. There's gonna be lots of that today. They running out all that gas for a two to three pound bass. Well, we've been here an hour and so far ain't caught jack squat. The wind is on and off. And the boats just keep coming in and out of here, keep washing me up on the bank. And even though I'm anchored down, I have to keep pulling back out into the middle of this channel here. It won't be long and I'm going to lose patience and I'm going to start dragging baits. Back in the day, you could throw a bait anywhere out here and there was a fish. Now you got to travel miles on end to find one. Either way, if I travel enough miles and spend enough hours out here today, I'm guaranteed to fish, or at least I hope so. Here comes another one. Well, it looks like I've been washed up over on the bank here again. Yeah, I've had enough of this. We're dragging baits. It's a lot of work, but... We've covered a quarter mile. We ain't had the first nibble. I'll tell you what, I feel sorry for bank fishermen around here. I may have to quit fishing Watts Bar too. There's old Dink. Dinky, Dinky, Dink. Come on, Mr. Dink. Come on, Mr. Dink. Another Dink. Just wasn't big enough to eat that gizzard shad head. Started out dragging 30 foot. Now we're in 25 foot. We're going to go all the way up into 6 foot if we got to. Somewhere in this huge creek, there has to be at least one catfish that's big enough to get that bait in his mouth. Uh, we well, might be getting a bite on the skipjack. There we go. There we go. There we go. Skipjack got hooked up. Another dink East Tennessee catfish for the books. Either way, dragon baits is how we had to conjure up a bite around here. Well, it's 2 p.m. We've been out here about two hours. Wasted the first hour, anchored down. And once we got into this certain section of creek, I've had several bites, got a fish. Either way, my title is fitting, guaranteed fish. I did come out here and get a fish. I figured I would, I knew I could. Right here in the town of Rockwood. Why they call it Rockwood, I ain't got a clue. I'll have to keep check on this rod here, but I'm gonna suspend one off the middle.
Guaranteed fish. That fish pulled harder than what he was. Time to get some of this off. I believe that little old fish may have uh, hit my rod and got stuck when I was eating them Cheetos because I'm moving and my line's just kind of staying loose. Now the only way that can work is if there's a fish swimming with me. So I guess I'll go check it. I guarantee you it ain't no world record, I can tell you that. Either way, it's a guaranteed catfish, and that was the title of my video. So this way, I'm not clickbaiting. That fish just spun the whole boat around. He's pulling drag. But he's still a nice fish. Boy, I thought he's a monster pulling all that drag. He's wrapped up in my other line, so we got a miss. We got a miss. Up. I believe that line's hung up now. Woo! Yeah. Guaranteed catfish. We're in seven foot of water here. I believe he's hooked up. I missed the one and I got another one on there. Seven foot. He's on there now.
double on. Lay up shallow. He was barely hooked. My double wouldn't have counted if I wouldn't have got him in the boat. He's staying on, but I ain't taking no chances. We got a pure dink and a closer to fun size. Woo! Guaranteed catfish. The weather must think that I'm at work because it's starting to get warm out. It's about time, like the froze to death this morning. We're in five foot of water. There she goes, there she goes. I'll keep going till my trolling motor hits bottom just to see how shallow they get. Guaranteed catfish. Right there. <laughs> Look at there. It says 2.8 feet deep, man. We're getting another one. He's pulling drag. He's pulling it hard. That's a big fish in 2.8 foot. He's still pulling drag. <laughs> I believe this is bigger than that first big fish I caught. He's got a good stride on it. 2.8 foot of water, man. Never mind, it's one of them dag blasted fish with the stripes on them. Not a bad size one. One of them dag blasted fish with the stripes on them. If it ain't got whiskers, it just don't count. Dag blasted. There she is. Three feet of water. Guaranteed catfish. I'll show you where the bottom is. Either way, we shallow. 
Guaranteed catfish. Guaranteed catfish. There's one of them guaranteed catfish. Guaranteed catfish. Spinning the boat around, man. That's a good one. Catfish. I don't know where these clouds have come from, but it's starting to get cold again. All right, people, we're back here at the ramp. It's not a clickbait title if the video matches the title. I done what I said I was going to do. Came down here, got a guaranteed catfish, one good catfish that fought hard, one of them dag blasted fish with the stripes on them, and I didn't even show you all the catfish I caught because this video would just be too long. I lost count, there's one right there. I got tired of reeling them in, I'm probably not even going to reel that one in, I'll probably just cut the line. But uh, yeah man, guaranteed catfish. Hope you all enjoyed the video. This is a video. There was too many fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one. Signing out. Let me go get this dag blasted fish in. I'm tired of reeling these things in. Man.